name's Caroline and today I'm going to be showing you how to create um, little air dry pots so in a couple of different methods so all we're going to need today is some air dry clay um, it tends to come in a, a couple of different colours we're using the white today but you can also get it in terracotta something to make marks with i've got a clay tool here cake decorating tools are really good or even just a little butter knife will do fine for what we're doing today and a little bit of just plain tap water so the first part we're going to make today is a little coil pot so this is just a really simple little way of making a little vessel out of clay so to start with we're gonna chop a little bit of our air dry clay so just want a small piece for now we're just creating the base so roll it around in your hands make sure that it's wet but not too wet if it feels like it's drying out just add a little bit of water and we're going to start with a ball so i think i've got a wee bit much there so i'm just gonna pull some off and make a smaller ball so when you're happy with that i'm just going to press it down into the shape of a circle if you want to be precise with this you can of course use a rolling pin and a cookie cutter but i'm just using my fingers today and there we have our base okay so what we're going to do now is make some coils now you can kind of spiral it up but today we're going to keep it really simple and we're just going to do one coil and another one on top and then another one on top so you start by rolling some sausages so these don't want to be terribly thick quite thin sausages so i'm just going to roll that out until i'm happy I'm just going to measure that and see if it goes round. Okay, so about there is going to do us today. Okay, so really important thing now is how to stick it together. So it's so what we're going to use this little tool for. So we're going to do some scoring. And basically this gives the clay something to grip hold of. So I'm going to score all around the outside and my base so it's just kind of scuffing up the surface so you can do this with kind of any pointy type tool and i'm going to do the same on the clay that i'm actually going to make the coil out of okay so as you're scoring now i'm going to add a little bit of water i'm just going to do this with my finger so just by putting some water on where I've scored, it begins to create a little bit of a slip. Slip is liquid clay and this is going to act a bit like a glue, so sticking it together. So I'm just going to press that down all the way, breaking it off there. And then with a wet finger, I'm just going to smooth those bits together. I'm just making sure that that's all placed down and now we're gonna go for our second coil so when you finish leaving the clay you want to make sure it's wrapped up really tight cling film airtight container just as tight and airtight as you can get it that way it's not going to dry out and you can use it again because once it's gone really dry that's it 
So this is air dry clay. Um, it usually says on a packet that it's kind of 24, 48 hours to dry. I often find it takes longer. So if you're working with a class and you want to paint it or something, I'd say leave it a good few days. Okay, so then we've got our coil the right length and we're going to start that scoring again. So scoring on the existing coil and on the one we're going to add. So just scuffing that up. little bit of water on the finger onto the clay to add that slip whatever shape you're working with you want if you're adding on things you always want to work with this scuffing and adding slip method otherwise when it dries it'll crack and those bits that you've put together will just simply break apart just smoothing those two together so I'm gonna do a couple more coils just so you get the idea clay won't do your hands any harm but it does really dry them out so if this bothers you, obviously you can use gloves. I just go for a load of really nice hand cream after I've been working with clay. It will wash off cloves, etc. So you don't need to worry too much about the mess because whatever you get wet clay on, a bit of soap and water, it'll come off no problem at all. So again, I'm scuffing that surface and the coil okay damp finger onto that rough edge creating the liquid clay we call slip Now I'm just going straight up with this but obviously you could kind of go out or even out and then back in creating kind of any kind of shape, vessel, vase you wish. So after you've made these, if you wish to paint them, um, nice poster paint or acrylic works quite well. But because clay is really absorbent, kind of it soaks up moisture even when it's dry. If you put just kind of a little bit of PVA in with that paint, it'll just help it sit on the clay. A little bit better and also if you're using kind of gluey paint it'll fill in any any cracks and you can also kind of fix any mistakes okay so that's nice and down so I'm just gonna lift that up so you can see there we have the beginning of our coil part and obviously we could go up as high as you like with that something similar to the ones this this is the same clay so as you can see it kind of dries a wee bit lighter so that was created four days ago and that's absolutely perfect for painting now i'm going to show you how to make a little pinch pot so this is another way of making a little air dry clay vessel pinch pot is exactly what it says on the tin you pinch it to make a little pot shape so i'm going to start with a lump of clay about the size of a small satsuma. I'm going to make it a little wetter today. It needs to be quite wet this one to work. And I'm going to knead that and mould it in my hands into the shape of a sphere. Making sure I smooth over 
any kind of cracks or rough bits. In the water make sure that that is nice and smooth so just checking it now make sure there's no creases cracks rough bits that you've got that nice smooth wet ball okay so now the pinching so what we want to do is pinch it between our thumb and our fingers like that and we're going to gently squeeze it into shape. So thumb goes in first. And I'm just going around it. Gently squeezing the clay out. Between the thumb and the fingers. Okay, just watching now. Need to be careful of any bits like that where it's beginning to split. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. And smoothing that over. I've just been mindful of that. We know we've got a bit of weakness there. So if I'm going to make it bigger, I'm going to make it bigger on the other sides. And then as it gets bigger, you can start using both hands to mould that round. You can also do this over something. So, you know, if you've got a, a ball, a cup or something, a bit of cling film, and you can actually mould this over. And there we have it. So I'm just going to put it on the base now and I'm just shaping it into a little bit of a bowl shape. I'm flattening down the bottom. And there you have your little pinch pot. So here's one that's dry. So you can see it kind of goes lighter in colour. So after, after, I guess I'll leave it for three days. Make sure that it's absolutely dry and then you can paint it. Oh, just now it's got a little crack there. So with little cracks, a little bit of water and just smooth over like that. And you can soon stick those together and cover up. Oh, it doesn't want to do it now. There we go. That's fine. There you go. Your little pinch pot.